Hey everyone, welcome back to a new video from the news app playlist. In this video, we're gonna complete on the onboarding screen. And we're gonna finish this completely. So let's go to the onboarding screen composable function and let's keep on working here. So what we wanna do now is to add the bottom section for this indicator and these buttons. Let's do that. So to push that section to the bottom, we can just use a spacer and we can give that weight of one F. And now we can create a row take the maximum width here we can add padding horizontally medium padding too and we also want to add another padding which is called navigation bars padding so what this does is to calculate the navigation bar padding and add that value of the navigation bar to the bottom of our row so as you can see in the simulator we have this navigation bar it has a height so this navigation bars padding modifier will calculate this height and add it as a padding to the bottom for our row. And we do this because we want to draw our screen behind these system bars, the status bar and the navigation bar. Now let's add a horizontal arrangement for this one and make it space between the vertical arrangement center vertically. Now we want to add the page indicator we have created in the last video. And for the page size, we can just pass pages.size. For the selected page, we can get that from the page or state dot current page. And we also want to add a modifier here. We can say modifier dot width. And we want to add this 50 dot dp. But I'm not going to add this directly in here. So instead, I'm going to add that in the diamonds file. And I'm going to just paste it in here, call it page indicator width. We're going to add this in here. Okay, now we added the indicator. If I launch the app, so the indicator should works fine as you can see the indicator works as we expect now let's actually proceed with the buttons so for the buttons i'm gonna create another row let's make this center vertically for the vertical error for the vertical alignment and as i said in the previous video um here in the design for this text button we're gonna hide we are going to hide it if we are on the first page and let's actually do that in here Let's check if the button state dot value if the first item of our button state is not empty, then we want to add that button. Otherwise, we will we don't want to add it. And here I actually forgot to create another composable function in the last video, and that should be inside the news button. Let's create another one here. So for this one, let's go here and let's say composable news text button. For the parameters, I'm gonna copy them from here. And this is just gonna be a text button and only click. And for the text, I'm gonna copy this one, paste it in here, and we're gonna change the color this time to white gray. Now let's get back and let's call this in here. Use text button. For the text, we can get that from button state dot value. It's gonna be the first one as we said and let me put this into new line so when we click on the back button we want to go to the previous page to do that we can use the pager state animate scroll to page and to get the previous page we can say pager state dot current page minus one and now this should be inside the quality scope so let's create one here and then we can launch it scope dot launch we can add that in here and here we're gonna add the news button for the text we're gonna get the index one of our list and only click i'm gonna delete this and add it as a named attribute i'm gonna launch a quarantine scope so this time we have two different scenarios the first one if we are at the last page then we want to start the app and we want to navigate to the home screen but if we are on the first or on the second page then we want to just go to the next page and let's do that logic so if pager state dot current page equals three in here i'm just going to create a comment to do navigate to main screen or to home screen else we wanna go to the next page, so pager state dot animate scroll to. We wanna get the next page by current page plus one. 
and that's it for this screen let's launch it again and okay this works but um i think we have not added the row this one inside our main row okay so let's just cut this curly bracket and put it in here now if we launch the app and here you go so this is what we exactly want so as you can see when we are at the first page we actually don't show the text button but if we go next we show the text but we show the back button here if we go next one more time we show get started now if we get if we click on get started then we are inside here and we don't do anything yet we will handle that later but as you can see here this actually pushed to the maximum bottom we can change that by adding a spacer below this row and in here we can just add weight of 0.5f now there should be a spacing let's see that okay i think we added in the wrong spot uh we actually want to add it inside this column so here okay so inside here and now this should work and here you go so now on bottom screens work perfectly okay now one thing is missed is to draw this screen behind the system bars simply we can do that from the main activity we can come here and we can use window compat class and we can say set decorate fit system window we can pass the window and we can just disable this now, one more thing that we need to do here is to go to the themes file and, and we're going to add these two items window translucent status and window translucent navigation we're gonna enable those to true now let's launch the app as you can see this will work but actually we're gonna change that and we're gonna use another library in the upcoming videos so i'm gonna make a video to show you how to change the stats bar colors and we're not gonna use these items anymore and in that video we're gonna just remove these items and show you a better way to change the status bar colors in jitma compose but for now we are good with that and we can just keep going with that now let's actually test the light mode and here you go the light mode also looks as we expect in the next video we're gonna deal with data store preferences and save the user click when the user clicks on get started and see you there.